So we're five weeks and two days until the amateur O in London. So uh, we're on the um, final stretch for the first show. Uh, last 10 days, um, this is the last cardio session. So I like to take the cardio out uh, 10 days before. I tend to, tend to hold a lot of water in my lower body um, from basically from the cardio, from constant pounding, 20 stone walking around, um, a lot of stress on the lower body. So take the cardio out, it really helps me, helps my legs dry out and get them deep cuts, um, you know, which is what the judges are looking for. Um, so at the minute, I'm sort of running on fumes, well, that's what it feels like. Uh, everything's a struggle, I've only got just, I've only got enough energy for the gym. Um, I'm walking around in slow motion the rest of the time. Day to day life's just, uh, <laughs> Um, really, really hard work, but you know, just got to get through it, keep going, keep pushing, um, and hopefully we'll get the reward at the end of it. So like I said, this shows 10 days time. Um, that's the qualifier for the British final, which is the day after. And then depending on the result there, it could be another four weeks or so dieting for the, for the amateur Olympia, which was my original planned date. So. I originally planned 19 weeks to diet. That's what I find is optimal for me, but with this new ruling, that's been cut down to 15. So I have, I have pushed it a little bit more than I said I would. Um, that's just a competitive streak in me. I don't want to get on stage knowing that I could have done that little bit more. Um, so yeah, this, like I said, this is my last cardio session, so that's one positive. I can chill out a little bit then, just, just train and eat and rest. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. As far as Safa, Safa was uh, competing three, four weeks ago, I think it was. She won her show. Um, she went in the overall. It was between her and another girl who got the overall at that show. She, she came second in the overall, but she she got what she wanted. She wanted her first place in her class. So she's qualified for the British final the same weekend as me. Um, so I've got her to look after as well the same weekend, which, which won't be a problem. She's pretty good. She just does, does what she's told, follows the plan. I've also got another guy, Matt. He's doing the same qualifier as me on a Saturday. Um, he should qualify for the British final as well. He's a really, really good athlete, very good condition. 
again, someone who just follows the plan and does as it's told, so it's not going to be any more heart, heartache, heart ache for me over that weekend because they just do as they've told and um, have come with it. So there's three of us competing in 10 days time. So it'll be interesting to see what the, what the results are going to be.